everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am in beautiful, beautiful central Bristol. Can you tell? Does it look like central Bristol? It's not really. It's um, up at Clifton Downs. And today I'm going for a 90 minute run with Jesse and Nala, Canacross champions. I uh, first met them at the Maverick race I did with Fian, where they went and won their race, which is pretty cool. Today, yeah, we're just doing 90 minutes around the Downs and then going across to Blaze Castle Estate as well. And anyone who watched my Green Man Ultra vlog will recognize probably both of these places. I've done a bit more exploring and I kind of want to connect up these two places they're beautiful green spaces the downs is pretty flat and then blaze is a lot more hilly and um, it's such a nice day as you can probably see it feels like proper spring so I'm just really excited to get out and get moving guess who it is it's Jesse and Nala they're coming on our run we're can well I'm not can crossing it she is can crossing it <laughs> um, with her in very impressive pupper and um, yeah starting nice and flat and then it gets a little bit hilly and I'm very jealous of the dog pulling you <laughs> up up and down the hills, to be fair. It's not all fun. Yeah, not always good, don't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> How old is Nala? Like, tell us a little bit about Nala. So, Nala's a year and a half. Um, she's a Border Collie cross lurcher um, and is just like a bit of a speed machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like. She's good and not so good. <laughs> yeah, but you know, she's still young. Hello, Nala. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. I'm oh, chasing the ball. Whoa, look at her go. <laughs> I'm very jealous. Turn uh, right, get up on this bit. First view of the run. Hey. Oh, you're checking out the view. <laughs> She's so liked here. Hey, look. Suspension bridge, portway, gorgy bits. Lee Woods over there, um, and the Avon. Nice. So Jesse, what sort of running do you do for all my followers? So I kind of have just got into proper trail running. Woohoo! I'm yep, <laughs> trying to watch where I'm going because I've got a dog attached to me. Um, yeah, I used to do like triathlon and run on roads. Hated it, kept getting injured. And then and a classic. when I started canny crossing with Nala in September, um, just fell in love with trail running, getting covered in mud. Yeah, realizing you don't have to run fast and you can just <laughs> enjoy the process. <laughs> We're all in love with trails for exactly the same reasons. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. water break for the dog <laughs> water obsessed dog hey Nola oh it's also a nice break for the flora this is my longest run since the ultra obviously and we'll probably be about 15 to 16 kilometers um and we're going at her okay pace not like super duper easy but definitely not hard either and it's path for here but then um, I've sort of aimed to make most of it trail because of my knees. My OT band's not been great since the Ultra. Um, so I just don't want to like aggravate anything. But also I do want to put it to the test slightly because I will be doing a lot of interval sessions on road and I need to make sure that I am whole and in one piece. <laughs> Are we ready to continue? We're good. Let's go. <laughs> so keen. <laughs> I wish I was that excited to run. <laughs> <laughs> so when Blaze Castle to stay, it is kind of windy here. Oh, someone has a Belgian Malinois. They're like my favorite dog. Other than Tia, obviously. Um, we're in the bit where we're nearly at the end of the ultra and um, I was plodding along considerably slower than we are now. Um, but yeah, it's so 
beautiful. I've been back here twice since the ultra to kind of look at new routes and we were here yesterday as well and I found this beautiful route so I'm very excited to show Jesse and Nala. It's so stunning. Um, an amazing day for it too. just saying to Jesse how I enjoy getting a bit of a power hike into my long runs because it's good practice doing this sort of thing in the middle of a run and then running again once you get to the top because that is exactly what you do in an ultra um, and sometimes it's difficult to get running again once you slow down to a walk so yeah we just practice it this is part of the route that we did um, during the ultra I think we're about 40 kilometers in at this point and I was dead, but very happy to be walking. And now we go on to a little bit of a golf course, or like the edge of a golf course or something. Um, and it's flat, so happy Flora. <laughs> into our 15k and I've just started feeling my IT band which isn't bad because like on all of my runs up to this point from the ultra I have felt it within about five or six kilometers so to make it to 10 kilometers without feeling it is pretty good I'm also wearing a new pair of shoes today um, the Merrill Skyfire I think um, which is supposed to be a fairly flat racing shoe and they're definitely a lot lighter and I think I probably have a better running stride in it I don't know I I haven't actually looked at myself run but it feels like I'm being a bit more delicate on my feet slightly because I quite often run a bit like an elephant and it's not very attractive um, so maybe that's helping or maybe it's just the fact that we're on trails but either way I'm very happy that it's made it this far and I'm hoping that by the time I get to the end I'll be able to feel it but it won't actually hurt that is the goal you can get to the edge of pain but as soon as it gets actually painful, I should stop. So I'm hoping that it will make it to 15 or 16 kilometers before that point. was the like 41.8 to 42 kilometer mark and during the ultra needless to say I could not run it this time we did run the whole thing um, and I was very proud because things seem so much harder when you're 42 kilometers into a run inevitably we are what are we now what are we now like 12 13 sorry how many 12 and a half 12 and a half, 12 and a half K in so the hill was a lot easier this time um, all good practice though for the next ultra that I'm doing which I will tell you about in due course because I just realized I haven't really told anyone on YouTube if you follow me on Instagram you will already know but I will tell you at the end of this video so keep watching
bad memories of uh, this point in the ultra. <laughs> oh, there was still a horrible amount to go, but thankfully we are parked just over there. And yeah, just got a couple of minutes left to hit 15 kilometers. That would be ideal for me and my little legs. Saving. We did one hour thirty four, uh, uh, fifty six hours recovery. I don't have fifty six hours. What the hell? Uh, oh, there you go. Just over fifteen kilometers, fifty six hours of recovery. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll be back running in two days. <laughs> How, you, how did you find it? You love it? Lovely. How is I Nala? She's happy. She's I tired. think she was great. But Nala, you did fair. Well done. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks. Oh, good girl. Yes, you should be happy. Well done. Is it a deer? Is it a, is it a waggly puppy? Yes, it is. Hello. Hello. Oh, you are so cute. So I'm back home sitting among the flowers. That was such a nice run. Such a beautiful day to get out. Doggo. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, really happy to get out. And I'm also very pleased that my knee didn't play up as much as I had expected it to. Um, I have such a long history with IT band syndrome that I kind of worry a little bit more about it than I possibly should. But you know, when I've had five years of injury on and off, it's not surprising that I do that. You know, I think not all pain in this case is bad. It's just my body healing and recovering over the time that I'm running. So yeah, fingers crossed that it stays good. I'm really pleased with how it did. And um, it was really nice to properly meet Jesse and Nala and Nala really, showed Tia up because Tia doesn't run with us properly yet and doesn't absolutely love it unlike Nala who is just like having the best time um so that has given us some goals to work towards um on the dog front but I promised you guys that I would tell you about what I have coming up so I'm going to tell you now and then talk a little bit more about it in the near future I'm on my first week of training for a 50 mile race that I am doing um it's going to be race to the tower which I'm sure many of you have done before it is 50 miles or 84 kilometers in one day so two marathons back to back which is terrifying and that is um kind of towards the end of june but before that i'm doing four marathons in four days in croatia to raise money to end human trafficking and modern day slavery through the tribe freedom foundation you guys may know that i've run with tribe before i ran out in the azores and did the tribe run for love three this is tribe run for love Four. I'm not doing the full thing because my friend's wedding is at the end of that week, but I will be doing around 168 kilometers over four days if I can keep myself in one piece. That is all to raise money. So I'm going to put my Just Giving donation link in the caption so that you guys can donate if you can spare a few quid it honestly does all help my my donation goal is three thousand pounds and um it goes towards helping women and girls who have been in modern day slavery assimilate themselves back into society and also helps improve legislation to end modern day slavery by making it harder for the people to do those sorts of things so um it's a really worthwhile charity and i have spoken to the people who run the charity and what they do honestly changes lives and many 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 lives lives as well so that is who I'm running for and I feel very very grateful to be able to do it as well so fingers crossed I keep myself in one piece that is not that far away and that is what I'm training for at the moment and this is week one of my new training program that I've created by myself um, and I'll share more about that in my next vlog but for now that is what I'm doing and it's terrifying it absolutely terrifies me even just saying the words out loud is very scary um but please do hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button because i'll be sharing all my training along the way as we go um if you can donate something i would really appreciate it i'll put my link down below as i said and that is it for this week's vlog thanks again for watching and i will see you next time bye